Heroes, how much I fucking hate this game, God. Oh, so man, oh my gosh, you know what? I always say there's some games worth playing, you know, and you know, in fact, I would say there's any games worth playing, at least first time, you know, but there's a difference between playing a game and then owning one, and that's really determined on the player. But there, there, there are just some games out there that just suck, man. And Sonic Heroes sucks. Okay, so let me get this out of the way. There's people out there who actually <laughs> like this game. And they really want this game to be re remade. I think these people are out of their fucking minds. I think they're crazy. Because this game did not do good the first time it came out. In fact, it actually alienated a lot of the Sonic fans. And, you know, yeah, it, it, Sega, I would say, went so far to alienate the audience with this specific game to try to reach out to a bigger audience. That just didn't work. In fact, if I recall right, back when this game came out, I was actually pretty excited. And then one, after I played halfway through it, I never touched it again. It actually built up dust on my shelves back in my bedroom back at when I was in high school. And when I was graduating back in 2011, I actually forgot I had the game, and then I remembered when I was cleaning out my room that the game was still there. In fact, that was actually very common with Sonic Heroes. This game, would act this game was a dust collector, or should I say a dust buster. So yeah, getting that out of the way, let's talk about the story, man. The story is ludicrous, okay? So the best way I can, you know, explain the story is Fuse, Barney, the dinosaur and Teletubbies together and you get Sonic Heroes. It's very kindergarten-ish obnoxious. Yeah, this game just has bad dialogue all around. It screams so bad to a point where just hearing it, you just don't want to hear anymore. You want to skip the, the skip the cutscenes and just get to the game. But yeah, trust me, uh, the, the, the game is worse. So with Sonic's mid story, you play as Sonic, you know, you go after Eggman and just stop, you know, he invites you to go after him to, to stop him. And Sonic Team, of course, uh, volunteers to stop him. And you got Shadow, Team Darks, so I should say, who are out for their own personal needs, who want their, to meet Eggman for each of their post personal reasons. You got Amy typically looking for Sonic, and you got Big the Cat, or should I say Team Rose, you know, each with their own missions. Che uh, Cream wants to find Cheese, uh, Big wants to find the, you know, his Froggy, and Amy wants to go stalk Sonic. And of course Team Chaotix, you know, they're all about looking for another job and getting paid. So, and then it comes to the last story that's really, you know, anticlimactic. You only have to defeat these, the boss in two, uh, two super hits, or say three super hits, I think. And then just defeat this Mecha Godzilla Metal Sonic thing with the cliched stupid ending. That is Sonic Heroes in the story in a nutshell. So let's move on to the gameplay. The gameplay sucks, okay? The broken camera, shitty controllers, slippery contr character movement, glitches, and bottomless death drops along with cheap bosses my god is this game so bad everything i mentioned is a common thing that you're going to find throughout the game the first two levels are actually pretty forgiving but after that you better you better kiss that shit goodbye oh yeah this is another thing there is a slight difference in graphical wise um this game did come out for the ps2 xbox gamecube and pc each version has its own like graphical advantages, but there, you know, the game sucks no matter what. Now I know the Xbox version has a slower frame rate, uh, definitely with bosses and just certain certain uh, parts of the map that has a lot of characters. It's actually weird, the fact that the Xbox original is actually the most advanced piece of hardware at the time. But I digress. The only good thing I can say about this game is the music. The music is 
yeah, the music is, uh, you know, pretty good. Sega's known to do good music, and yeah, really, yeah, the, the music is really nothing to complain about. I do like uh, the Albatross, there's three uh, songs I do like, Albatross, Air Al I think the, the Air Albatross, um, uh, Canyon Rail, Rail Canyon, and the other one would be um, Green Forest, I think it's called Green Forest. Yeah, there's only three maps I like. There's plenty of, um, you know, uh, map uh, music I like, but those are the three I remember on top of my head that I really do like. Uh, the music themes are pretty decent, you know, other than Sonic Heroes theme sucks, but everything else is, oh, it's alright. Um, oh yeah, don't forget about, that's one thing I want to talk about. Uh, before I, it's just dawned on me that the maps in the game actually really suck. Okay, these, there's maps, the maps, the way these maps are made out actually, you get stuck in these maps and that's kind of part of the glitch. This will be a common theme in casino park levels and also the rail canyons and etc etc forward. It's just, this game is a fucking mess guys. I hate this game. This game just was a disappointment. And, you know, there's really no other word I can say than just that. People who like this game, I think, are just blinded by nostalgia because this was their first Sonic experience. When really, I say, I, I told them, you should have started off with at least the classic Sonic or at least uh, the Adventure Sonic. Because those games were really good, <laughs> unlike this garbage. Sega, I think the biggest problem is that Sega tried to reach out to an audience that wasn't there. Actually, they want to reach out to an audience that, you know, wasn't even interested, or there, whatever you want to call it. And in, and by doing so, Sega's alienated their own, you know, Sonic fan base by making this garbage. In fact, I, if, I, if I had any advice for Sega, don't make this game, don't remaster it, just leave it in the past. This game is bad. And, you know, Sega, you don't need any more, <laughs> you're doing any more bad Sonic games. Leave this garbage in the past. If the fanboys and fangirls cry and get mad, I say fuck them. Okay, because this game was really bad. Other than that, guys, I'm giving this game a 1 out of 5. This game is just terrible. I would rather give it a 0 out of 5, but since it has good music, I guess I gotta give it at least 1 star. <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, peace out, and that's all I gotta say about this shitty game. Fuck Sonic Heroes.